Hi, I'm Greta Colleen and welcome to Big Brother and all the latest action from this weekend. In just over an hour, we will have our live eviction and there is still time for you to vote. Now, Big Brother has plans for this week. The house has, of course, short two housemates since Belinda's dramatic exit on Tuesday and Jamie was voted out two weeks ago. I can tell you now that there will be new housemates going into the house this week. Yep, Big Brother is stirring the pot again. More on that later, but now let's join the action in the house where the love bug seems to have bitten big time. Tonight on Big Brother, what is it about Joe that drives men wild? Every man that's walked through the door has gone absolutely gaga. Oh. Now Joe adds another heart to her collection. Because I've never ever met someone that I can feel comfortable around that is blonde and intelligent. And competition between the boys is hotting up. Jeez. It's day 34, and to celebrate the new mood at the end of a very dramatic week, and with another eviction looming, Big Brother has thrown a house party. I love it. The housemates get into the spirit with wigs left over from the musical task, and to create the party atmosphere, Big Brother has provided music and disco props. <laughs> oh, disco ball! Ah! Awesome. Oh. Okay. No, 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 no. just be yourself. And it comes. Two more levels to the bottom of the car park. One night, the mate's walking around the edge of the circle, just going. But even before the dancing starts, Vincent's party tricks have begun. Still? Seriously? Oh my god, where do you, where do you live there? Did that just come out of your mouth? It comes from here, not out of my mouth. Wow, it's just, that's so cool. It's, like it's just it's primal. Your GF is so lucky. Oh, really? I don't know, it's, it's just, it's primal, it's animalistic. Look at him. I was watching him before, I thought they were kissing. I think matter of time. Oh, yeah. She's going to be on. <laughs> Still? Stay away from me tonight. An hour later, Joe and Vincent are back together on the dance floor. Soon, Vincent's dancing solo as Saxon and Joe head into the bedroom. <laughs> Couple number 79, Saxon and Joanna. <laughs> you look beautiful. I've said that before. Come, have a drink. Thanks, Sax. It's all right, Joe. You're my big sister. I'm looking after you. Come, have a drink of water and we'll hop in the spa. Come. You so save me as your big sister saying. I exactly do. So do, don't you? I said that from day one. Did you? Yes, I did. Coming up on Big Brother, Saxon tells Joe how he really feels. I never meet someone that is as everything as you at the same time. Why do I have to meet someone like you here? It's after midnight and the dance music's well and truly finished. But Joe and Vincent are up close once again, this time in the kitchen. All right, this is a compliment, all right? Are you ready? Yeah, I'm ready. Are you sure? Bring it on. We'll see if I can make it. All right. I'm only going to say it once. Okay. And you can't belittle it, because it'll hurt if you belittle it. Okay. All right? Mm-hmm. All right. Really? Pretty. Two? 
That's cool. I've never had that effect on anyone. Give credit where credit's due. Soon, Joe brings the conversation back to Vincent's girlfriend, who's referred to as GF. It's hard, isn't it, to be in here? Mm -hmm. I think it is. It is. And I'm not even... Oh, I'm not even thinking about him at all. I and mean, you're probably thinking about her heaps. Hmm? You are. You're probably thinking about her heaps. Oh. It's hard, isn't it? GF, very, very lucky. Fortunato. Oh, well, we'll see. She is. We'll see. She will appreciate, oh, get out. She, you'll get home and just like, she'll be like, praise God. I hope so. Jill. See, oh, very much, my little trouble, whatever. I hope so. In the bedroom, Chrissy and Regina are mocking Joe and Vincent's habit of speaking Italian. We're trying to seduce each other with Italian, but we don't know any. We don't know any, so we're going, Vittorgini, lasagna. <laughs> and Reggie went, Reggie went, Tiramisu. Tiramisu. Are you serious? Are you serious? Margarita. Spaghetti. <laughs> Oh, it's like at the end of the Oh, I think I've pulled something. <laughs> if I was. Don't, don't, don't finish that sentence. Don't okay. you f don't you dare. <laughs> don't do that to me. <laughs> Alright. I have trouble sleeping as Silencio. it is. Silencio. Silencio. I have trouble. I have trouble sleeping as it is. <laughs> Uh. <laughs> Before too long, Vincent's spot in the kitchen is taken up by Saxon. No, because I know that if I said what I was thinking, you would never, ever say what you're thinking. And that's where the, the whole weird feeling's coming mm -hmm. from. Come back. What? Come back. Come back. Continue. No, because you know if I continue, would be... You'd wish I didn't continue. Mm. Let's, let's just agree now that we don't continue, mm -hmm. unfortunately. Cool. That's cool. <sighs> do you know what I mean? Like, you live in a, a total comfort zone, do you know what I mean? Me? Do I? Cam and work and your family and your job, do you know what I mean? Modeling, it all satisfies, do you know what I mean? And I'm, I live in a world You really of... think it does? So you tell me right now you're not satisfied living the life you do? No. <laughs> Total I, can't. Well, I can pretty much guarantee that. Because would I be here if I was? No one pursues something like this if they are completely happy with what they're doing. None of my friends who are engaged, who are this, who are that, right? All of them are getting this, they're getting moved in, they're getting married, they're getting this, that's fine, that's cool and I'm really, really happy for them. I think it doesn't happen to me because I don't want it to happen to me. Well then where do you... <sighs> people like you are the type of person that comes along to people like me in once in a hundred thousand lifetimes, you know what I mean? I've never ever sort of met someone like you that has these qualities and these qualities all at once. I never meet someone that is as everything as you at the same time. And it's spinning me out because I've never ever met someone that I can feel comfortable around that is blonde and intelligent. Why do I have to meet someone like you here? I don't know anyone sexy like Joe is. Touch water out there. Mm. You know, that really yeah. predictable sexy, yeah. you know, little blonde, big boot, you know. I don't know anyone like that. And maybe I don't know any men like this either, I don't know. But they're all. Yeah. And it just makes me feel like, oh, what hope do I have? Do you know what I mean? Yeah. We're just talking about the sex appeal I of Joe. What's happening with it. Every man that's walked through the door has gone absolutely gaga. She's, att she's attractive, but she's not like I wouldn't go for that sort of girl. Ben's joined Joe and Saxon in the kitchen for a late night snack. Okay, if you remember everything that's been said tonight, yeah. when I get up tomorrow, yeah. the first thing I want you to do is shave my hand. Yep, cool. The first thing I say, and if you don't do it, yep. I just think you're a 
Okay. Cool. And I'll be you. Spread it on, baby. Here we go. It's the early hours of the morning. Vincent and Saxon are the only ones still up. Joe decides to bid them good night. The next day, Joe seems to be ignoring Saxon, with no sign of keeping her handshake deal from the night before. I feel like I made a fool of myself last night. Yeah? I feel like I did. <laughs> yeah, but in terms of just mucking around or to a person, I feel like I hurt someone last night. Like you hurt someone? I think I said things that shouldn't have been said. And I have the very strong impression that the fact that the person said things back yeah. was just because last night was what it was. Alcohol doesn't change what you're saying. It just lets you say more than you than you would. Than you would. You, hold, you don't hold back so much. Well, then why would that person totally ignore me this morning? So that's why I feel like a wanker. She feels like she can't even say anything. Like even a hello, my God. We've been like little school kids now. 
See, now if I go, I'll be so angry. Yeah. Having this happen and not have it sorted out. Are you getting in, Boozy? It's like living at the Playboy Mansion. Coming up on Big Brother, Saxon's late night heart to heart with Joe. I thought you were going to talk to me this morning when Maybe. I got up. Yeah. Despite sharing a spa, Joe and Saxon don't talk to each other much all day, and the handshake deal is never mentioned. <laughs> At bedtime, Joe is the recipient of an affectionate good night from Vincent. <laughs> Do I do? No, I didn't. Not interested. It's just fix me up. It's a good night. <laughs> Vincent's got a big fat crush on you. Jackson finally gets a moment alone with Joe in the kitchen, where he shares his feelings of confusion. Um, I thought you were going to talk to me this morning when Maybe. I got up. Yeah. Why well, was that funny? Yeah. I was like, I was not and I was funny. sitting over there with Dan. Yeah, and what, did you want me to go walk all the way across? Is that what I meant, was it? Uh, no, I don't know. And I, I fully felt what did you like. Say? I didn't say anything. I just said, I feel like I might have overstepped the line because I wasn't sure in any way. I couldn't have been 100% sure how you were reacting to what I was saying. Mm -hmm. I mean, because it was a pretty weird night. Yeah. And I was very interested to wake up and see how it was. Mm. You, you, like, we don't even need to say anything else. But yeah, I totally agree with the whole yeah. learn about yourself in yeah. terms of... But I thought I was really strong. And I'm not, oh, she's not Like proud. I've always, like I'm very good at putting on fronts and... I can't do it anymore. And control, and I'm very good at controlling how people perceive me. And you started bawling your eyes out too. <laughs> yeah, I just had a few. I said, Tim, you can't cry. And he goes, oh, my baby. Do you want to go to bed, fella? No, I yawn. Doesn't mean I'm tired, I'm a freak. Keep talking. If I wanted to go to bed, I'd tell you. Oh, I want to see the actual me? sun come yeah. up. And okay. Oh, okay. What is that? Look at it. Look at it. <sighs> We've done it. <laughs> As the sun rises, Saxon and Joe are still awake and oh. talking. Once you're out of here, you'll never get this feeling back. No. That's why you shouldn't wish it away. I never have. So you're sleeping it away all day like Ben does, he's wishing it away. Ben's ready to go. He is ready to go. So they talked and talked and talked. Bet you didn't see that coming. And the housemates won't see Big Brother's next surprise coming either. Not long now until tonight's eviction. The SMS lines have closed, but you have till 8 o'clock to change your vote or vote for the first time. More on Big Brother's plans for the new housemates in a minute. But now, let's cross live to the Big Brother house. I'm there, Gretel. This is amazing how human bodies can do this. Do what? Chuck balls at each other and catch them. Track them with their eyes. Yep. And move their hands exactly where it lands. Oh, I'll just take it for granted, mate. Did you notice that you've got rounded things on your reference as a square? Yep. yep. <laughs> oh, oh, Ooh. that really took off your fingernail. Fingernail? I thought it touched. Lucky. Oh, I can see the divot in where he's here. In I can see the divot where he's here. Do you reckon they'll say 60 minutes still? Yeah, they always say 60 minutes, don't they? Yeah, no. Ready? Yeah. Gotta get going. 
I've got to get a purr and a growl in before I let... Lady sh That was crazy. Nice catch, Sharon. It's good. It's like a little motor. Get it in. <laughs> <laughs> I have to get it in before I go. Just in case I never get to hear it. More on those new housemates. I can tell you that there is a new male and a new female housemate and that you'll see them go into the house on Tuesday night's special one-hour daily show. And we'll have more details in tomorrow night's nomination show at 7.30. But make sure you join me tonight at 7.30 to meet our next evictee. And we'll also talk to former housemate Belinda. I'm Gretel Colleen and I'll see you all at 7.30. Program brought to you from Dreamworld, the home of Big Brother.